Jumpley. We are playing against Jumpley. Jumpley is uh, thank you also Korean, so it should be a good fighter. All right, we're gonna use the same opening here. Counterbalance here, yin and yang. We do not want. Ooh, fancy, fancy here. So he his realm of influence. I think he wants to build this area. So let's frustrate him a little bit. Come inside. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and just take a corner then. So he tents us. Oh, okay. So he is going to develop this uh, side here. That is what he's saying to us. And we will welcome it by taking the outside corner here. Oh, okay. So. You gotta know some kind of Joseki here, because if not, you're gonna get exploited. Because here, you cannot play this Hane of Horse, because now the cut works. So we cut, he has to save the stone, we Atari, and we kill these two stones here. So here we go. Actually, which way to punish better? We could punish this right away, but lose the stone, or we can push. And then, eh, let's not be too greedy here, so let's just Atari this, push here, let him take the outside, and then our corner just became really big inside his influence area. Which, very for him, must be very frustrating right now because he started with 4-4, uh, four, four with the center stone here. And then here, uh, let's just take a break here and finish off this corner. And not take any breaks. We are at only 10 cube level here. So this drop down could give us some trouble. So, okay, here. We'll just play on the outside here. Since so he's strong here, we don't want him to develop here. So we're gonna, get, since he approached, we're, we're just gonna give it up. Yeah, sure, sure, take it. Take it, take it. Oh, is that Gote? Yes, it is. Because this cut doesn't work because. Uh, the ladder doesn't work, and then we just Atari down this way. Right? So S seven is wrong. Yes, S seven is very, very wrong, as you see from the result here. Definitely, very wrong. So he has a high wall here. So we're just gonna frustrate him by taking his extension. Yay! Yay! Ooh, counter. Okay. Let's see what he does here. Hello, Thrasho! Okay, we, we will respond to that because the corner is not alive. So he jumps here, but uh, not very good. Now we can just build a base. And if you build two walls here, but the middle can't make points, your stones are very in inefficient and doesn't matter. Oh, so what's he trying to do here? So see, at this level, you're going to see a lot of this stuff. They try to attach and make confusion, stuff like that. But you know, with the two stone here, this is a safe extension because you can just connect underneath like so and make life. So now, he's going to try to build some sort of points here, right? Uh, and then here, because he's trying to build here, we, there's several ways to do it. We can provoke a double honey uh, threat here, right? So we, we play, we, we double honey into a threat into a double attack. That's one way of playing. Another way of playing is just extension here. And then uh, he can attack here, we connect, and he has to protect something around here. But I think that's uh, a little risky. So let's just go ahead and make eyes here. Let's see what he does. This corner, this out here, his maximum potential is 20 points. That's all it is. Potential 20 points where if you, if you look at it. See, and then now if we bend this way for the double Atari, he's going to have to build this way. Then we push one more. Now he's all sorts of bad shape here. And we have very good shape. Oh, can he do that? Wait, well, he can, technically. 
But now these two stones are gonna get really lonely over there next to White's wall. Right? So now you can just uh you could attack this way and then black would jump in the corner, but what it's better to do in this situation is push black towards your wall and develop points on the the left side here. So what we're gonna do is we can either kick or do this one, but I think I'm gonna play this one. So now he has to defend these two stones. Okay, so he has about 20 points here, and white has more than 20 points. Here. Okay, so right now, should we do that? Okay, so we just get one eye there. I th yeah, I, I guess we should do that. Prevent him from getting the eye, you know. <clears throat> Ooh. What is this here? The cut here. So, cut, I think we can do threaten a cut here. This actually, he has some validation moves here. But the cut here really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna make an eye here first. I'm not gonna worry about this. That corner is very secure. So, we're gonna make eye first. Because this drop down is gonna remove one of our eyes, and we might not be alive here. So, let's make eye first. Worry about it stuff later. Hey, SAI. Yes, I'm back for now. Oh, uh, this doesn't work for him. We can just Atari here and then connect. And then he's gonna be in kind of trouble here. The, the, the stone can't really. So now a corner is really big. Uh, let's see, can he live in there? I don't think so. Uh, I've, there's multiple reasons why I've been away SAI. Uh, first of all, my computer kind of broke. And so now I'm streaming on my work laptop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have been rock climbing though. That was true. Alright, so we can play here, but uh, if you look at the board right now, right? Uh, this top group here. This top group here uh, is settled. This corner is settled. This corner here is settled. We could play here an extension area, kind of, but it's kind of obvious that we see that the most potential is this this corner up here, right? This area up here. So let's just play the approach here. Yeah. Right, everything is is well, SEI. Uh, there was a lot of stuff going on uh, before, but uh, I think everything's sorted out and we should be good to go. Alright, so he's capping that stone, being afraid of that. So we're, we're gonna play another move here in this corner and develop our um, advantage. Okay, so he's gonna do that. Okay, let's just go ahead and block, some, block him in here. We do have a nice wall here, so now if we build another nice wall, then we can start attacking this stone here. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Cross cut. Okay, very cross. Usually cross cut, very hard to read out. Even at the high dawn level. So I can't imagine at the, the 10 Q level, you know. But typically, whoever extends first wins the crosscut battle, right? So usually you want to extend here, extend here. Um, but I think not in this situation. In this situation, what you want to do is Atari first, then Atari again, and then connect. Because the Atari first is going to give you one stone here. And you Atari again, it's going to give you another stone. And then depending on which way he Atari, you're going to have an ally to connect to. So I'll show you right now. So, so he can live in the corner and just give us a pommel key, which is, isn't good for him. So he's not going to do that. So now we can Atari this way. You must have gotten Rusty Clanger said. Very true, very true, because uh, we are playing uh, 10 Qs right now. So, we became a weak dragon. And then we can just extend here and capture this stuff. 
Okay. Ooh, he might have killed us here, I think. You know what? We're just going to live here first and not try to kill this, right? So we live inside. It's okay. A okay. Uh, we're gonna play here. Or maybe attach the top. So close. Well, this series is gonna be for you, player. This series is gonna be for you. Alright, so now we have to try to lift this group here, right? Hmm. Can he do that? Because the answer is probably no, he can't do that because he has weakness here, so he needs to protect. Uh, first thing first, though, we do need to get this move in for free, so we should play that first. That gives us two extra liberties and more control on the outside. He takes, right? Okay, so, and then now we go back here and do the cut. Uh, okay. We can extend. Look like I should have uh, extended instead of Atari. Uh, perhaps. Perhaps. Mmm, so now we have a fight. We have a fight. Alright. Just cap, make him go that way. We're strong here. He's not so fine. Oh, that might not be good for him because uh, <clears throat> now he's now he's getting to bad shape here. So the, the problem with the 10Q level is uh, direction of, of fighting. See, so here he can't get out. This seems to be dead now. Murder. Murder. Red Rob. Red Rob. Red Rob. Oh, uh, what's he doing here? Uh, here we just have to connect. So worst case scenario will be a Seki in here. So, but not then we Atari this way we don't have to do anything fancy we just win the, the, the race and then it's another design game here yeah it does have that nice clamp but uh, lose by one liberty here I, I will explain it to you after the game uh, when I go to review. So this will be probably episode two. So the game here now is over. So the, now the biggest move is here or here. Uh, and then we're going to play here. Just extend out. This is why you don't build to the center because the center is small. No matter what you do, is stay very, very small. Then we're going to take the side here. Uh, you're going to take the bottom center. See, the side is very large. It only takes three moves. It takes ten points. In the center, it takes a lot of moves. Yes. So hopefully, we can address that for the newbie. Okay, so he's trying to develop here. We are going to play this one. To make sure he can't escape that. Add some extra liberties to these two stones. And poke out to his territory. He is, at this point, he's so way behind, he cannot, uh, there's no way for him to win this game. Uh, let's poke here. I'll show you guys how to poke into center territory. Because once you know how to poke into sanitary, the center is very low value because you know how to reduce everything. So just connect here.
Then we can push here because that, that makes this cut not possible for him. I just said not possible for him. And he did it anyway. So. Uh, instead of just taking, we're gonna play some threat first. So now he can connect here and then we'll capture these things. Doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna win some stuff. So I guess that's one concept you guys could learn is when you have something that's captured already, but you have other other possibility you can do. You can you don't have to play it right away. Okay, that's a good thing to learn. You don't have to play it right away. Oh, he's, he needs to be careful because he'll die here. Uh, this has no eye right now. If he connects here, we Atari this way. If he pulls out, then we connect here. Let's see? So. That's fine. And then now if we jump here, his 20 points is like 10 now. So he has, doesn't have an 8 point really. He actually can't do that because we can play here because there's a double Atari here, right? So now he has to protect this, and then we pull through here, separating his group, and then this could die. That's uh, that's a bad move. Now we can sacrifice one stone and push him, like so. So here. Ooh, that's tricky. Because if we play here, he connects with Atari. Now let's not let's not be too tricky here. And just connect up to the here. Alright. And then I'm going to try to kill this group here. Don't play me I. Uh not not so much don't play me I, but uh, if you have one you can create me I, then you don't have to play either one. That's uh, that's the that's the idea. Alright, and then here now we can play this because if you cut, we can Atari. If you Atari, if you play this, then we can connect. So, so I think it's going to be like uh, 100 to maybe 15 or 20 or something like that. Uh huh. The Atari, yes. Atari. Uh, Tay. That's go Tay. So now we're gonna play this one. It's an end game. So let's learn some end game while we're at it, even though the points doesn't matter. And then here, instead of playing this, right? If you play this, that means he prevents the cut in Sente. But if you connect, then. He have to come back to connect here. Still. See, he can push through, but doesn't really matter anything. Still has to protect here. Okay. Uh, okay. So he did what he want. Oh, he lives right there. So now that's fine. But now we cut, and then he has to connect here. And then. Uh, this might have to make two eyes, which is pretty painful for him to do. So I'm push here. Um, not so much. I don't think that's something, but why not? Alright. Let's try to kill some stuff since the margin is not big enough for him to design. Here. So here, connect, and then connect, and then he dies. I like that. So here. Connect up to a buddy. Should be dead. 
here and over here. So here now it's just life and death. I'm not gonna read this part, but I'm just trying to make him resign here. Or should we we resign so we can keep our 10 Q account? Mm. I actually I want this to gradually go up and rank a little bit. So we're not we're not gonna uh, lose too many games now. I mean that should be enough. Even though if he's bad if he's bad at counting, that's still the margin is wide enough where you should know. Since he only has a handful of points. Yeah, that is true. Alright, so let's go ahead and kill this group too, I guess. Uh, like so. And maybe he'll resign after that dies. But unlikely. Okay, we do need to protect here. And that, that does create some weakness into that group. Mm, okay. Going for a counter attack here. Which uh Hey O I N G. How do you know he's poor? Could be very rich. Throw in here. Okay, that's Gote. Should, should we try to kill this thing too? I think this thing's dead now too. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, back here. Thank you. Can't read a snapback. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't. I haven't been thank you for a long time, so I don't know. Can thank you read snapback? Yeah. Still, still struggling. Still struggling. Okay, one eye. Out of uh, desperation. True. That could be true. And so, um, when I play at the 5 down level, and I try to explain why uh, to beginners, it's hard to understand why people go for corner first, right? But when a stronger player plays a 10 q you can see exactly why the corner is more important than you move to the side, then the center, because the center where he focused most of his attention is whittled down to five or six points. Now. And that's why the center is not very, very efficient because there's so many ways to poke at it. You just poke, 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 and it shrinks, shrink, 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 shrink down to nothing. Okay, now, now he's just playing a lot of. Thank you. Move here. We just have to play safe and not be frustrated and ignore his moves and stuff. I should play the center for the next game. That sounds like for bad advice. <laughs> Pop Posey, thanks for the follow. Why is my music not on for the follow? We'll let him live there. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's the sound. Uh, yeah, usually, usually something something has to happen for you to build a large center like that. Thank you for the follow. So it seems like there was two follows. Annoying me too. Okay, push in. So this game's gonna be over. We're gonna review real quick so I can do episode two for this one. 
Because I, since the last month, I haven't done anything in front of YouTube. I feel pretty bad about that. Sometimes stuff in life just happens and they kind of. Oh, did he kill himself? Yes, he did. So we let the top live, but then we kill the bottom. So. Charity work and then. and then. strike over the sword. Uh. uh. what was that? Death and go to me. Okay. Just poke into his points here. Poke into his points here. Poke, poke, poke. Pokety poke, 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 poke. Time off with the host for two views. Thank you for the host. Appreciate it very much. So hopefully, I've worked out the logistic of streaming. So now, I won't be streaming on weekdays. Because I do not want to carry my laptop home. Uh, every day, but I will be streaming on the weekend. <laughs> Sarcastic? Uh, I think it is. It makes that face. The Pop Champ. Pop Champ! Ooh, yeah! So th this here is just a simple life and death, and then we make two eyes, and then he has one eye, and we live, and he dies. Like so, so death and Gote again, I believe. So. Yeah, I think that's it, so we're gonna go ahead and pass here. He has eight points. Ten points. Ten points, something like that. Ten points. 10Q should know this life and death story. Uh, I'll illustrate it out for him how he's dead and I'm alive. Since he's not convinced. I have one eye there, sir. And then he's not convinced about this one either, so I will illustrate it out for him. Clearly. And he resigns. Okay. Let's go ahead and review this game. I wish there was just a review button here for us to press. And then we just jump in. And review it. But no, alas, we have to do this. So Korean players do not resign early. Korean player likes to play to the end. And Korean players are bad at counting. That's too much assumption for one player, but... That's all the information we have right now. Okay, let's take a look at this game here. So, beginning looks nice enough. And there you go, the first mistake. You gotta follow Joseki here. You gotta extend here. So, the reason why you don't do that is you see during the game, so I'm not gonna illustrate it, but he needs to extend here. Why do this? Right? We have a nice change here. And then so this Hane here is where he probably lost the game because the cut here. You could just go straight here and then but then you capture this, so you don't want that. So I, I want him to run the stone so I can capture this two stones and then now the corner is very large. <coughs> So there you go. And then after that, and then here, instead of, when you have, when he has strength here, you don't want to counter pins. Because he's going to do something like this, and then you're going to have to fight into his strength, right? So here, best option is, I wouldn't say this is the best, but I do like it the best. It's more flexible, and it does apply some pressure to this down here. But uh, you could also play something like here, but this is a tad bit more passive because now he can just push you here. A little bit like this. Right? So there you go. And then I need to explain directional play. Somebody, somebody asked about that earlier. 
kind of made a load of comment about the fight. So let's go to that. And so this concept here, I already explained during the game. Uh, he builds two walls, but in the middle, white can just live, and so that's very inefficient. So you lose seven moves. That strategy, you lose seven moves, and you cannot win a game when you lose seven moves. So here, uh, where's the direction of I'm trying to remember, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here. Okay, so this fight starts. Okay, the reason why you don't. After he does this, if you drop down and try to kill, potentially, even if you don't know how to read it out, potentially, this looks dangerous. So, even if you don't know how to read it out and it looks dangerous, try to avoid it, you know? Because even you know the result, if it's dangerous, then you know it's dangerous. But you could win or could lose, but if you can avoid it, avoid it. So here, so instead of that, we just live. And then let him connect underneath to the outside. See? So you gotta know how to back off too. Even though I'm playing against a 10Q, you know, you can still back off. It doesn't matter if the person's weaker or stronger or whatever. Uh, the judgment is should be the same. So here, direction of play is wrong here because really he should jump here, right? This is where his center of influence is. So he should push white uh, towards it, is what I mean. But here, he's trying to cut white, which is not possible in the first place, and then let white play something outside. And so now, uh, He's not using this influence here. <clears throat> Bats, Bats had a one don do the same Hane in stream ago. Mm. Even one don can get greedy, I guess. It's not. It's not so much Joseki. So the rest of the game is 